Unfortunately, anti-vaccine mindsets are spreading across the Western world, mainly thanks to the power of the internet and conspiracy theorists, halfwits, imbeciles, and people who confuse cause and effect. So what you have is a situation where people have decided for whatever disease they see in children, they're blaming it on vaccines. They cannot get it into their heads that the vaccine has nothing to do with the disease they're seeing in front of them. I feel sorry for these people that they have illnesses in their children, whether it's autism, but they cannot blame that on a vaccine that saves millions of lives. Okay, but what about the argument? My child was perfectly healthy until they had the vaccine, and then after they've had the vaccine, they're autistic. That's ridiculous. It's in a confusion of cause and effect. You cannot say after an event that that caused it. They, it, it it's impossible to argue that point it's just it's just wrong it's fundamentally wrong there's such a thing as something causing something and a, and a time sequence where there's no relationship between the two events okay no one listener says what about the h1n1 swine flu pandemic vaccine with a proven link to narcolepsy oh this is another one i remember the swine flu outbreak now there were a couple there was some controversy involved in one brand of that vaccine again it's a cause and effect confusion some people actually got swine flu and got narcolepsy it is a controversial one in all fairness people need to stop this stuff it really has to end. Swine flu killed people in this country. People died from swine flu. People are still dying of influenza every year. And what's shocking is tens of thousands of people over 65 aren't getting the flu jab. And that's another one I would happily, you know, say to the old age pensioners, we'll give them a fiver bonus if they get the flu jab every year because it would just be a, a, a smart move for society. Okay. Listener says, isn't the improvement of hygiene has not what's got to disappearance of disease down to that? Yeah, that must have been what got rid of polio and smallpox. All right, yeah, when you're listening to that kind of guff, God help us all. So Rory was on to us today just to emphasise that he acknowledges that there was a link between this no longer used vaccine and narcoplexy in some children. And he was anxious for me to clarify that for him. And he's very sorry if he caused any offence to campaigners on that issue. But it is, after all, and we should emphasise, entirely separate to the childhood vaccination schedule that we were discussing on air yesterday.